And so now it is my honor to introduce the Minister of Canadian Heritage and Multiculturalism, the MP for Henri Mercier, the Honorable Pablo Rodriguez. Thank you very much, Merci beaucoup, and um, good afternoon, everyone. Bonjour à tous. It's really a pleasure to be here. I saw a colleague, Marine Minister, she's here with us today. And uh, I saw Andy Fillmore, my parliamentary secretary, important dude here, right in the middle. <laughs> and uh, Julie, I thought, uh, Alan Bond's here also. So there's, there's many MPs here uh, with you this afternoon. I'm really happy to be here today, and I want to thank the Coalition Canadian des Arts to organize this rendezvous every year. Um, Arts Day on the Hill is important for, for a couple of reasons, uh, actually I'd say for many reasons. It gives you, the arts community, the uh, dedicated time and space to advocate for issues that matter to your sector. And it gives us politicians and policy makers the chance to better understand how we can work with you to support you in what you do. It's particularly true for me as a new minister. It's only been two months, right, that I've been on the job. <laughs> I'm sorry to know this. Uh, you too, Mary, right? It's, it's something. It changes life a bit. And it's only been two months, and I told my people from the beginning, I said, je leur ai dit, je veux pas être dans le bureau. Parce que c'est pas dans le bureau qu'on va prendre des bonnes décisions pour les gens qu'on représente. So I told them right away, I don't want to be in the office. I mean, it's a nice office. It's big. It's well decorated. <laughs> but I don't want to be here. I want to be on the ground. I want to meet the stakeholders or, or artists or creators. And so they took me very seriously. So for two months, I wasn't in the office at all. So I met my, I met my staff two months after, and I'm now getting to know them. It's very nice. But I did do, uh, I did travel a lot of, uh, around the country, and, and that was important. It, it's extremely important for me, and it's important, very important for me, and for us as a team, to be with you here tonight. And we, we, say, it all, we say it often, like arts and culture is, is important. It's, a, it's important because, yeah, of course, it's, it's, you know, in terms of economy, it's $54 billion, it's over 650,000 jobs, uh, but it's way more than that. It, our culture is, is who we are. It's, it's our identity. It's our past, our, our present. It's our future also. And it's for that we have invested also de façon important. You have seen, we have invested in culture 3.2 million que ce soit Téléfilm, que ce soit l'ONF, que ce soit Radio-Canada, que ce soit le Conseil des Arts, que ce soit l'exportation culturelle. Why we did this? Because culture matters. And it does. It's extremely important. Culture matters. And to those that criticize us, and some do, that's, oh, you put too much money on culture, 3.2 billion. To those I like to say, well, just go one day in your life without music, dance, Films, television, theater, books, just one day of your life without. It would be freaking boring, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So it's culture, it's what makes life beautiful. Ça, ça nous accompagne dans les moments les, les plus joyeux, mais souvent, parfois, dans les, dans les moments les plus tristes aussi. Alors, c'est pour ça qu'on s'est battu et qu'on va toujours se battre pour la culture. Et hier, and I, I think you guys saw this here. Yesterday we, we signed an agreement with, with mm -hmm. our friends. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, the, and there was an announcement. And, and the Prime Minister and uh, the Minister Christian Ferdinand announced a new accord with the uh, United States and the Mexico. And this accord will va, va continue to allow us to reinforce our culture, including our language française. It will allow us to maintain our independence in what we produce, in what we are trying to create in the milieu. Cultural. And we said from the beginning of those negotiations that we would maintain general cultural exemption for Canada's cultural industry, an exemption that protects our industries on our platforms, on our platforms, including the digital world, and that's exactly what we did. That's exactly what we did. We fought hard. I cannot give you all the secrets, but I, <laughs> we fought really hard. I spent a lot of time this weekend on the phone yeah. with some interesting counter proposals <laughs> that that make no sense. <laughs> we're there for you guys, and we'll always defend you. Thank you. <laughs> 